All right, so now we're going to be looking at one's complement. Now what that is, is it's subtraction for the computer, but it's using addition. So we're going to be subtracting two numbers, but we're going to use addition to do that. So um, if you, you can think of it like this. So if you've got 4 minus 2 in decimal, and you wanted to subtract them by using addition, if you inverted this number, so that the positive 2 became a negative 2, then you would say 4 plus negative 2 gives you 2, okay? Um, so the reason why we do this is because a digital computer doesn't have the command to borrow across the columns. So when we did subtraction with binary, if we came into the scenario where it was 0 minus 1, we would borrow from the next available 1. So the computer doesn't do that. So what it does is it complements the number, the two numbers, or the negative number, I should say. It complements the negative number, which is this number in this case, and then it adds the two numbers together. So first of all, before we start, you need to look over here. So um, I've written here 0 equals positive and 1 equals negative. So to the computer, a 0 is a positive sign and a 1 is a negative sign. Then you need to look at these two numbers here. And you can see clearly that this number is bigger than this number. So if I subtract the smaller number from this larger number, the answer is going to definitely be a positive number. So from the beginning, you can already know that the answer, the sign of the answer is going to be a 0 to show that it's positive. All right, so then what I do is I write down this number over here and then I take this number and I write it down over here okay I've written it down in the blue then what you need to do is you need to add zeros you see I've added these green zeros here to make sure that the top number and the bottom number have the same number of digits so you can see there there's an extra two in the front and then one extra zero at the back then what I've done is because there's a positive number over here, you can see this. there's no sign in front of it, so it's positive. That number gets a zero to show that it's positive. Then this number over here gets a one because of the negative sign in front of it. And then you have to look at these two numbers, and the number that is negative, which is this one in this case, has to be complemented. And how we do that is every zero becomes a 1 and every 1 becomes a 0 so you can see I've written it on this side here so that 0 became a 1 that 1 became a 0 and those three ones there became 0 0 0 and those two zeros became a 1 and a 1 and then what you do is you write down I'm gonna write this number over here now on top the same because I'm not going to complement that number because it's positive. Okay, so there you go. So the top number is the same as the number over here. This number, I've added the extra zeros and then I've complemented it on this side. And I've written here one's complement to show that I've complemented this number. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these sign bits back. And the sign bits, you don't complement. You leave them the same. So you can see they're the same there. And then from that point, I'm going to start adding. So I'm going to use binary addition. So I'm going to say 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 0 carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. Now take careful note here. 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 into the sign bit column. And then 1 plus 1 in the sign bit column is 0. Now that's what you'd expect to have because the answer has to be positive like we said in the beginning. So 1 plus 1 is 0 and then you get a carry out of the sign bit column. And then you're going to take that carry, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drop it down here. So I'm going to draw an arrow here to show you, and I'm dropping it down 
to here. And I'm going to write that one over here. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use binary addition again, and I'm going to add the number. So I'm going to add that one to this number. So zero plus one is one, zero, comma, zero, one, 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 zero. The sign is still zero, means it must be positive. And there is the answer. So what we can do is we can clean up this number, we can delete that zero, okay? Because that's part of, um, that's in front of the number. But you cannot delete this zero because that's the sign bit. So the answer is going to look like this. One, 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 zero, comma, zero, one, the radix of two. And the sign is going to be a zero. So that's the answer for one's complement. So subtracting these two numbers using one's complement. So again, the number came out just like we said in the beginning, positive. And we've used binary addition to subtract two numbers. I hope that helps. The next video we're going to look at um, subtracting two numbers using one's complement, but then we'll be taking a small number in the front and we're going to subtract a big number from it and then we're going to get a negative answer and we're going to see what the difference is.